students. Today, we are going to discuss uh, second lesson Sanskrit in the first year. Uh, that second lesson is uh, from non detail. The lesson name is uh, Bhagya Chakram. So, Bhagya Chakram uh, contains and uh, it, it has its own uh, weightage in that uh, intermediate uh, board paper. Almost two to four marks it covers. So, when we go through these uh, SAQs, and certainly we can score four marks of, uh, from this lesson itself. So, there is Bhagya Chakram. And uh, first, uh, I need to give you some uh, introduction of uh, this particular lesson. This particular lesson is extracted from a book called Vyavahara Pradipa. Vyavahara Pradipa, there is a book which is uh, published by Rashtriya Sanskrit Samsthan, so which is located uh, in Tirupati. And that university has uh, published uh, this particular book a long back and uh, it has its own uh, popularity and it's our uh, most uh, well-known book. And from that book, this particular lesson is taken. And uh, it is really very, very important for intermediate level students because uh, here what we can learn and what we can do when we have got such kind of uh, success and when we get such kind of fortunate things in our life. So there are certain uh, people, different kind of people will be there in the society. Like when they are fortunate enough, they misuse their uh, fortune. But uh, whereas uh, these, this particular lesson shows us very clearly when we are fortunate enough and how we can utilize ourselves and how we how we will be useful to the society. So that is what this lesson is about. And Bhagya Jatram that is. And uh, so far what we have discussed, that is purely introduction of that one. Because uh, lesson name and the author name and this all won't be there. And this is taken from that book. So that's it. And uh, here uh, that book is written by number of uh, associates and a number of uh, poets. So that uh, one particular name is not mentioned very clearly. So Bhagya Chakram. Bhagya means uh, luck. Chakra means wheel. Generally, whether it be life is like a wheel that we know very well, means good luck and bad luck and all these things are very rotatory. Means maybe a day, one day would be very good and another day would be very bad. So we need to <clears throat> measure properly in these two things in a proper way. That is what our life. So Bhagya Chakra here. It's a story of a Hira Lal. I'll uh, enter into that story now and just listen it carefully. Now entering into that uh, story part. So this is uh, this lesson is also started in the same way how all these stories uh, will be started. The same scenario once upon a time, long, long ago. There was a farmer and that farmer blessed with a son called Hira Lal. And uh, as he was the only son, that person has pampered him a lot and he has provided him a lot and a lot of things he has done being a father. Though he was very poor, that person has done a lot of things to his son. And generally in that particular age, when they get such kind of freedom and liberty and everything and certainly that is and enough chances are there to spoil. And in the same way, even Hiralal also just turn like that means that Hiralal, almost uh, that person has uh, started taking advantage of everything what uh, the parent had provided and he was not going to the school properly and he was not listening properly and uh, he was not at all uh, responsible to his works. So everything was going on just according to his wish and one day he'll go to a uh, forest and uh, another day he'll go to his friends and another day he'll go to somewhere else. But he never listened to his uh, parent and even teachers. So that father has uh, warned him a number of times that this is not the way, my dear, and you have to go to the school. If not, better come with me and I'll do the uh, farming work. And uh, you better join with me and uh, happily you can stay and you can work with me. And uh, you can. that's a kind of support to our uh, family also. In that way, he has uh, suggested. But... Whenever he gets such kind of information from father and as usually the person just he listen from one year and he leaves in another year. So that is what the things going on in that place. So finally, that father and moreover even that father is also very poor person and doesn't even have enough land 
and just a piece of land was there and the piece of land really it is not at all sufficient to the family and even to him also still the father has been working day and night and working hard and just he has been supporting his family and he, though he works hard day and night and that was not at all uh, uh, suitable to the needs of his family so that is what going on in the, over there so though the condition was like that iralal iralal was not at all and least to bother about the financial condition of that family the financially it's a very 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 poor condition so though that is in that condition he was not uh, listening anything and he is not at all responsible to his father and father's works also so in that way days are going on and uh, unfortunately what happened and that father uh, became old and he was not in a position to do all these things what he need to do uh, for the sake of that uh, farms and all and unfortunately he fell sick when he fell sick and he is a main bad boon to the family and means financially and he'll do everything but uh, that person completely and bedridden so he is not in a position to do anything and uh, already that family is suffering from a kind of uh, poverty and now the situation turned back to worst means there is no such kind of food also to survive to eat in that particular time that uh, situation was turning and still this person hiralal was not in a position to listen and keep on enjoying uh, he has been enjoying his life like anything and uh, least bother about that father's condition or even the family's condition and uh, unfortunately after few days that hiralal's father that farmer lost his life unfortunately lost his life and that family's condition financial condition turned very terrible means the situation has uh, been demanding to work this hiralal but uh, he was not doing anything and one fine day after some days of uh, demise of his father that mother came over there and uh, that mother has suggested that hiralal my dear son it's uh, these days are becoming terrible you know the condition very well because already i became old your father is no more and i may die very soon but you have enough future and if you won't work and how how do you think that you will survive and there is no chance of survival when there is no work so you need to think about the work and you need to work for the sake of uh, your life and for the upliftment of your life for the development of your life or else you can't even survive this is a situation and if not if you are not willing to work or there in this uh, farms and you better think of any other alternate and you work and at any home i may not lead life completely along with you but at least you need to survive properly and you need to enshine in your life properly so that i am suggesting you not to do all these things and uh, in that way that mother in a pampering way itself and she has suggested what he what she need to do in her life and uh, that hiralal and uh, brood over on that particular issue and uh, really those words of that mother really turned that uh, his life later on he started thinking that this is not the way i have led my life so far here after i need to do something in that way that hiralal felt and later on he has uh, called that mother one day the another day and he said that mother i have decided to work hard not exactly in our village with these fields at any way i can't even do this work right from the beginning i did not do any uh, uh, such kind of works so i'll go to the nearby city and there i'll work hard and then i'll let you know such uh, things like i'll uh, let you know and uh, even i'll work hard over there and that i'll join somewhere and i'll do some company in this work and all i'll make money and i'll make you feel proud in that way that uh, person has uh, given assurance to that uh, mother and the mother felt very happy by listening such kind of words of that uh, son because that she has been expecting such kind of response from that uh, son from the past number of years but uh, now it is happened and she felt very happy and then that uh, son hiralal said that mother at any moment i'll go we do not even have single penny right now but 
you better prepare something uh, to eat now and even I'll take something uh, for my traveling journey also. And can you prepare something in that way? The person has asked and requested as he was feeling hungry. Then that mother said, very soon I'll prepare something for you in that way, she said. And she has uh, just made four rotis. And uh, she could able to do only four rotis, what is uh, left over with that. And uh, immediately she gave those four rotis uh, to that uh, Hirala. And as he was feeling hungry, the Tirala said that, and uh, surely I'll eat one right now, and the remaining three I'll tie it up at one place and I'll take it up, take it to my journey. In that way, he said, and he ate one among those four. And the remaining three he has kept in a towel. Generally, earlier days, in olden days, people used to wear a kind of a towel on their shoulders in the same, and that is multi use uh, purpose. So, we can, uh, what we say. We can tie it up somewhere and something and later on we can use it as a pillow and we can use it as a blanket and in many ways that is useful. So this Hiralal has taken the towel and he, uh, in one corner he has kept these three rotis and tied it and kept it on his shoulder and he has taken blessings from mother and he has started his journey to the nearby city. And at any the person need to travel on foot itself as he was very Poor, he cannot uh, uh, hire anything. Certainly, he need to depend on his uh, food itself. So very slowly, that person started his journey, and uh, he was uh, keep on crossing a village and uh, later on a mountain and uh, the forest and that way. Almost uh, he need to cross around forty to fifty kilometers, and it's not even that easy journey earlier days because it's not such kind of uh, uh, black top roads or anything and completely thorny and uh, stony road would be there and certainly he was going on that particular place and almost uh, he has tra traveled for three to four hours to cross 30 to 40 kilometers and finally the person was tired and it was even almost uh, midday and he was even feeling hungry and moreover he had even that kind of uh, stuff which he has uh, kept then uh, the person was in search of nearby lake so finally he has found a lake and he went to the lake and first he has uh, uh, turned uh, very fresh with the water of that uh, lake and then he sat down at the banks of that particular lake and he has opened that uh, towel which he has brought uh, for eating and he has opened, as soon as he opened, three rotis were there. And those three rotis were in different uh, shapes and different uh, sizes. Then he was asking himself that which one to be eaten first. Whether to eat the first one or second one or third one. In that way, just he was thinking which one is better to eat. In that way he was thinking. And uh, whether it is fortunately or unfortunately what happened. He was sitting next to the lake. In that lake. Three mermaids will stay. Mermaids means uh, Jalakanya, we say. So, three Jalakanyas will be there. Jalakanya means uh, half human and half uh, fish kind of uh, life will be there for them. So, we have such kind of farms also, as you know very well. And those three <coughs> Jalakanyas have heard the voice of this uh, Hiralal. They were shocked by listening that word. Actually, they were thinking that this Hiralal came over here to eat them. Then out of shock, these uh, were trembling with the fear and these three Jalakanyas together, they joined and they were discussing, a human has come here and uh, he was saying, we could understand their words, that he is about to eat us, means he is going to kill us and he is going to take us from this river and from this lake. So we need to do something in that way that Three mermaids were thinking and finally one among those three mermaids informed to the remaining two that don't worry, we will go to the person and we'll convince that person that he should not kill us and uh, for that we'll give something to that person then he'll leave us. In that way, yes, uh, that mermaid has suggested to the remaining two and then these three with a kind of hope they came out from that uh, lake. That particular time, this uh, hero was about to eat that uh, roti, which he has brought from his uh, home. 
that particular time, these three came out there and they prostrated in front of that uh, Hira Lal. And they are requesting that, sir, please leave us. Uh, we have been staying here for the past many days and you came over here to eat us. Please leave us. And if you leave us, and certainly we'll give you in return something which is uh, which are really beautiful to you and which is uh, really beneficial to you in your life. In that way, they have requested. He couldn't understand anything what these uh, three mermaids are saying. Then after, he said that, okay, you're about to give something and just tell me what you can give it to me if I leave you in that way. Just he has taken advantage of that particular situation. Then the elder one said that, Sir, if you leave me, I'll give you a box. It's like a jewel box or something. I'll give it to you. And it is really beneficial to you. Because just by opening that one, if you ask something, and certainly whatever you ask, that will give you. And that is my guarantee. And it's not even for one time. And certainly you'll get uh, for a number of times you'll get that one. So in that way, that first mermaid has suggested and he has uh, she has given it to that. Uh, Hiralal. Hiralal has taken that one and he said that, okay, I'll leave you. Just you can leave in that way, sir. And after that, second mermaid came out there and uh, she has uh, promised that, sir, if you leave me, I'll give you a kind of stick. The stick is really very beneficial to you. And uh, you can even fight with anyone and you can even conquer on any other person if you hit with this uh, uh, stick. And if you use this one, and uh, really this is beneficial to you in your life. And uh, that is what uh, the second said. And by listening to the second person's, uh, uh, second mermaid's uh, words, felt very happy. And again, after that, third mermaid came out there. And she said that, uh, sir, if you leave me, and certainly I'll give you a kind of blanket. Really, it is very useful to you to travel anywhere. Because just my uh, blanket is very useful. And just to go and sit out there, it's like Aladdin uh, blanket. And if you sit out there and just you better inform the blanket that I need to go there and it will take you like that. So in that way, the uh, third said and gave it. And he said that uh, Hiralal has taken advantage already. And he said that, okay, you can leave uh, just uh, by giving, uh, what is it? I'll uh, leave you and uh, just give it to me in that way, said. And he has taken and then he has left those uh, uh, three mermaids. And then he felt very happy right now. And here he's saying that, First, in order to test that one, that person, what he has done, just open that uh, first uh, box, which is given by the first uh, mermaid. And after that, he said that very clearly, that first uh, he requires food. And he said that, I want very sumptuous food, very great food I want. In that way, he has asked to the uh, box. And within no moment, and uh, sumptuous and luxurious uh, food, it has appeared in front of uh, that Hiralal and he has enjoyed like anything and again he has opened the box and he has asked that I want uh, royal robes generally a king will wear you know such kind of dress I require and I want that one in that way sir and within no moment uh, he got such kind of clothes uh, generally a kings will wear you know such kind of things and he felt very happy and again he has asked one more thing he he likes actually Hiralal likes uh, horse and horse riding and I need a superior horse also in that way, sir. And even horse reached out there. And he was enjoying and uh, just he sat down on that uh, horse and he started traveling. When he was going, uh, and actually he doesn't want to go to the city and anywhere because he got uh, what he wants in his life. And he wants to go and he wants to show it to his uh, mother. Then he has uh, again taken the U-turn and started going to that uh, mother. When he was going and he was stopped by some uh, soldiers of a king. And he said that uh, they said, you can't go right from this place because this place is a really private area for our princess. Princess is there here and you can't uh, go right from here and you need to take another way. This Hiralal doesn't want to listen to the words of such people because uh, now he has all the powers. Then he said that, no, I'll go right from here itself. And then the conversation uh, turned into argument and argument turned into fight. And then Hiralal, by using that second weapon, that is a stick, started fighting with them and he was doing in a marvelous way that fight. And that was observed by the princess. She has been observing that fight of this uh, person, Hiralal. And she was shocked and uh, she was mesmerized by that uh, uh, grand fight of uh, this person. 
and then almost uh, we can say she fell in love with this uh, fight of this person and even this person has seen that uh, princess and she was so beautiful and then he has decided okay she is the one she is my life partner in that way he has decided and then he fought with these people and uh, everything was done and then he has called that uh, princess and he said that uh, do you want to lead uh, your life with me and even she said accepted and then along with that uh, princess this person was there on the horse and uh, they went to, uh, went, went to the blanket and they were there on the blanket and they started their uh, journey again to that uh, home finally that princess and this hiralal and the thoughts and completely reached that uh, Hiralal's mother. Hiralal's mother was shocked by seeing this Hiralal because when he was going and all the torn clothes were there, now is completely looking like a king. And moreover, next to him, a lady also, and she was looking like a gorgeous and princess. And then she has asked everything, what happened? And then he has narrated the entire story of these three mermaids and all. And then he said that I want to marry this girl and I'll marry. And finally, they have arranged marriage and finally, they got even uh, married. But they require a big bungalow. So immediately, that person has opened the first uh, box, which is given by the first mermaid. And he has asked that, I want a big bungalow. Within no moment, that a small hut was turned into a big bungalow mansion. And they started leading their life. And after that, we had like, uh, what do you say? That person was enjoying his life over there. And uh, as a gratitude, what he has done, he has kept and he has arranged one big water swimming pool. There, as a gratitude, the person has arranged three, installed three images and idols of those three mermaids. And just in order to show his gratitude towards those uh, three mermaids. And after that, they happily started leading life. And almost he was there for some days uh, in a proper way. And later on, he started thinking. I need to do something when I got all these things in a proper way and uh, certainly I need to utilize and need to use it for even others in that way that person has uh, decided and then started doing everything for the sake of people means uh, almost uh, people started coming here to get uh, solutions for their problems and for their uh, miseries and sorrows and the agonies and uh, that person almost we can say he has started his own kingdom and he became like a king and he started doing all these things so Finally, in this lesson, we got such uh, information and the bottom line of this story is generally when we get something in our life and that must be useful to the society and that is in that way that person is uh, really useful everywhere in his life. And uh, here we have uh, two, two questions based on this lesson and just I'll write on the board and I'll explain them and just you better have a glance. And the first uh, question is. Yeah, this is the first question here we have. Hira Lalasya Mata Kati Rotikaha Nirmitavati. Hira Lal's mother, how many rotis she has prepared? That's a question here. And uh, here, interrogative word means that's a question word is Kati. Here, this particular mm -hmm. word must be replaced by the answer. And the replacing answer is she has prepared totally four. And that is what we say in Sanskrit. Chatasraha. So here you need to do that. Hira lalasya mata chatasraha rotikaha nirmitavati. If you could answer that one, you will get two marks for this answer. So here again, once again, I am reading here. Hira lalasya mata chatasraha rotikaha nirmitavati. So that is the first question. And the second question is Hira Lale Parivartane Agate Saha Kimakaro. Hira Lale Parivartane Agate Saha Kimakaro. What did Hira Lal do after realization? What did Hira Lal do after realization? So here interrogative word is Kim. Praja Hita Karyani Akaro. Praja Hita Karyani Akaro means he started doing works which are beneficial to the people. What did Hiralal do after realization? And the answer word is Prajahita Karyani Akaro. And the way we need to answer is Hiralale Parivartane Agate Saha Prajahita Karyani 
Haka Road, full stop. So if you could learn these two answers and surely either one or two will appear in the exam and means it uh, carries around two to four marks for sure. And it's a matter of two minutes so you can complete very easily this lesson. And you need to remember this lesson name is Bhadya Chakram. And these two question answers are very, very important to you in your first year syllabus. And the two it is, it is asked in the fourth bit of your exam. Right. Thank you.